developing. Thieves ram an SUV into the front gate of not one, but two stores early this morning trying to get inside and steal things. The first time we've heard of this, actually we've heard of it a lot in the past couple days. Our Sarah Maki is live at one of the incident scenes on Ashland near Division. Sarah, what do you have for us? Well, Brad, we talked with the owner, Jacob, who didn't want to use his last name. And like you said, we've been seeing this a lot. He said he's heard of it happening at other stores. So to be proactive, he hired an overnight security guard. But what happened next is so brazen, it's shocking. And it was all caught on video. I want you to take a look at some of the surveillance camera video that Jacob gave us, because when you do, you will see what's happening on the screen, a black SUV closest to you is the security guard but the burglars pull up behind in a sedan and a second black suv people from that sedan then walk on either side of the security guard jacob telling us that that staff member reported those thieves implied they had guns and they told him to leave after the guard leaves they move the sedan back making way for the suv to ram into the fortified entrance of jacob's building which buckles but does not budge it is just one of two cars rammed into sneaker and streetwear stores this morning. And the owner here, he tells us he's been told by city leaders that there's a limit to what he can install outside the building to protect his store. At least allow us to protect ourselves by putting these barricades in front of the store. Let us take the measures. If you don't want to do anything, fine. We're on our own, but let us do what we have to do. Don't get in our way of protecting our store. Jacob says this is actually the second time thieves have tried to use a car to get into his store. They were not successful last time either. He tells us that he actually just put these protective gates in about three months ago. And he says now it'll cost him about $40,000 to make the repairs. He says that's more than thieves probably would have gotten away with in stolen merchandise. By our count, Brad, this is now at least five cars over the last three days that have been used for attempted break-ins. In West Town, Saramaki, CBS 2 News. Yeah, and you say use, it's typically what happened. The cars are stolen, used, and then dumped. Uh, good job out there handling the wind and uh, well-told story. Uh, thank you, Sarah. We appreciate your work.